The Force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantuin. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. A star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. How can I help? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zaha. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continued to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? And that is why the dark side is so insidious. If you are not careful, you do not even see each small step you take towards it until it's too late. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. I assure you that the fee is not negotiable. We have a very thin margin of profit on this world. That does make sense. I suppose I could let it go this time. We need the business. 
This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration, so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well, past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. That's not much information. Could you tell me more? Then you're on your own. Ask around Anchorhead. Someone may be able to help you. I will answer as best I can. What will you need while on Tatooine? As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Kenchopa chawi ti chop twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Bugra shak kunti chi wa unchawa. Dong abuk shami no nok. I am Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Bona na kachu. Kicha badwang. Wanga kum kiba bu mulera. Kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Donk ki ba nukunek. Tanga bok sha um nak nong. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon. Wana kumbes. Chi pala mulek. Tong ki pa nak nonek. Tu nik ton chun chun ki nemolek rabest. Wuf mala ni bokurk. My mother's condition. Tin un pa do punta krita. Ak ti konto ona chaba chisa wanki. Ti toki grantu kon chi chan kun green kanchan tu pro. Bok wala no bok cha. Ni chi kon chuba kin lorta ita kun. I've not seen my mother since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did she... did she say anything about my father? Genchopa chawi ti chok twiz yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. Dong abuk shami no nok. I see. Where did you meet her, do you remember? Shachika don mulaka wata yuma ka wama hona nek. Ashanti don unumani patoka. Wanna kuna best chinga pala multonki. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she's really sick. Well, we shall see. How can I help? Hmm? Sorry. I'm just thinking about my mother. It's strange to hear news after all this time. It's quite distracting. It's not that I look forward to seeing her. I just can't help but wonder what she wants. But perhaps we have better things to do. Uchua Penki, Tongi Tuama Ji, Human Akun Ikatune, Chi Ita Kanki, Chana Kilikon, Chiwaka Aita Kanki, Baba Hassan Shan, Noba Muri Raji Lai Kuka. Ki Muri Ra Kun King, Tongi Tuama Aki Ikotune. Chua Penki, Yun Patisa, Kichuba Jikuta Naga, Kingu Mwa Muli Radwana, Kimba Nikchalora Kun.
Baba Hassan Shan. No ba muli rati lai kuka, chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Hagi unko tune, chuna muli ra, tangi wama jiko na. Tong kipa nonku nek abog, chiwa e aita kang kicha na, chupor nibo. Kun muli ra, slimo poi wanga, tangi wama ji, human ak un inka tune. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Agi unko tune, chuna muli ra, tangi wama jiko na. Tong kipa nonku nek abog, chiwa e aita kang kicha na, chupor nibo. Kun muli ra, slimo poi wanga, tangi wama ji, human ak un inka tune. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Agi unko tune, chuna muli ra, tangi wama jiko na. Tong kipa nonku nek abog, Baba Hassan Shan, no ba muli rati lai kuka. Kimba no konik dota, patisa, patisa. Ba kuyen ta, kono luf ni fanwe hu ni el ti rima. Uf ta sa hiel pa, uf ta gel kif. anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. No, but you look... I'm sorry, I, I thought you looked equipped like a hunter. Are you sure you're not going to be getting a license? I mean, you don't look like a farmer, and the only way to be allowed out of Anchorhead is to get a hunting license. Circle Corporation sells them out of their office just south of here in the center of Anchorhead. That's where my husband got his. I think they charge 200 credits, but they've been known to make exceptions. Please, no one else will help. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. I... I don't know. How could I be sure you would come back? Are you sure you can't buy it? Please. I guess I don't have much choice in the matter. Here. I'll trust you with it. I'll be here. Please don't take too long. I need the credits. Maybe we can get started again. <laughs> Oh, no, no. 
I gave you. My children and I are counting on the credits. Please hurry. The credits are all we have to start again. Mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. La boda ni wen kis matoma. Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tok ning cha mui ra ra bes. Kuya ni just kun na ji tonai. Ni na kun ma ma ruli ra ra ji kun. Slimo patona. Mundi ha dong de ji hong ka bi. We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. Ya to ka un wan kin kun na ba muri ra. Ra ji kun. Mu cha sha pang pa. Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please make it quick. Hmm. Yeah, all right. I'm not sure what I could say to interest. I just work on the crawlers. I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. The sand people attack them pretty regularly. Zerka Corporation is getting pretty sick of it, I hear. They've offered bounties on sand people for a while now. But few hunters take them up on it. Too dangerous. Oh, the big crawlers head out at dawn. That's so they avoid the bigger predators. The raid, I mean. Doesn't help avoid the sand people, though. They attack pretty regular. No matter what Zerka Corporation tries. Well, it's a hole in the galaxy as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. But that's happened before and will happen again. Anchorhead has been resettled a few times now. Well, Tatooine fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before a company learns this, they've already set up communities to support operations they now can't afford. The company pulls out, cities dry up, and after a few years, someone that doesn't know why it failed tries again. No one is. I guess it looked like a promising mining planet, but the metal... I tell you, it just isn't right. I've been a mechanic my whole life. I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatooine metal. It's why whoever was here before left. And why Zerka will leave. And why whoever comes next will leave. Alright then, back to work I guess. La boda ni winkis matoma. Wanna kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kick. Tok ning cha muli ra ra bes. Uba patu kochi. Tong nong bong chong nung yang. Tong kato smak delia. Kuyabi just kuna chitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo patona. Mundi ha donga chihokabi. La boda ni winkis matoma. Wanna kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kick. Tok ning cha muli ra ra bes. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. 
I trust you have business with the company? If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Very good. Zerker Corporation looks forward to your future business. Achua Penki, Yun Patisa, Ichuba Chikuta Naga, Kingu Mwa Muli Radwana, Kimba Nicha Lora Kun. Ki Muli Ra Kun King, Don Hitwama Akti Tsinko Tune. Chiwaka Eita Kan Kicha Na Jupornibo Kun Muli Ra Slimo Poywanga Tongi Tuama Ji Human Act in Ikatune Chiwaka Eita Kan Kicha Na Jupornibo Kun Muli Ra Slimo Poywanga Tongi Tuama Ji Human Act in Ikatune Chiwi Eita Ka Tong Chicha Agi Inko Tune Chuna Muli Ra Tongi Wama Jikuna Tong Ipa Nongku Nek Abog Baba Hasan Shan Nongba Muli Ra Chilai Kunka Kakin Cha Nawa Bagaon Bagwa Shon Konti Machit Um Kakin cha nawa bagaon, bagwa shong konti machit um. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha, agi inko tune chuna muli ra, tongi wama jiko na, tong ipa nongku ne... Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? Griff? There's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Can you spare me a few moments? I have something I want to get off my chest. I want to tell you about one of our workers. His name was Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. He was lost in a Sand People raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost-effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. 
Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the Sand People numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. As I said, all employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Talk? What is there to talk about? Those sand people took my brother prisoner. Griff may be a slime, but we have to go rescue him. We can't just leave him with those... those... those monsters? I knew I could count on you. There's definite fringe benefits to being friends with a Jedi. I gave you. My children and I are counting on the credits. You have? Did Faza give you a good price? How much did you get for us? Seven hundred credits. Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. I don't know what to say. I just don't. Wow. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? Thank you for helping this woman. 
It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you're making a difference. For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You saved us. Go on, leave me alone. I've got stuff to worry about. Racer stuff. Nothing you'd understand. Don't mean to be rude, but it's kind of secret. Ha! Sure. Race your bike out of that explosion. Everyone knows that the whole planet is gone. Nobody got out. I'm not in the mood for jokes, thanks. I've got things to think about. You wouldn't know anything about it. Deal with that hut Mata and you will understand. Until then, I just don't want to talk about it. You have something special. What do you want help with? Ma, in kin slim mo podona mulera chikun, 
Another racer, then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Don't know how much longer I'll be around here, but maybe we'll have time for a few races. Did you? I'm not sure that's any of your business. Top racers keep to their own. I don't know you. Maybe if you were better on the track, I might feel like talking about it. Someone who can turn out the fast times might understand. Hurry it up, all right? I have things on my mind. All right, see you around the track. Oh, you're gonna like it here. Crowd's friendly, even if it doesn't really compare to racing for the big circuit. Just go Kun Chikun, 
You've got a right to no track business, but with the times you've been posting. You did? I don't believe it. I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. I appreciate it. I really do. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a circuit right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. Hard to tell. I'll get some more runs here first. I need the practice. I have to top your time. Thanks again. I meant it. ぶちしゃっぱかっ。キエノのおだまパオレラチコン。ロンドディホトンガクンハンカリ。ワナコンベスチンパラモレトンキンバーノトク。トークニンチャトコンネモレラベス。カチコンイダホトンガ。イキン
Well, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got Father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for great dragon pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a great dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it. Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. What remains would there be? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human, and the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron, an ignoble end to a fine man. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, Mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People on I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Who are you, then? The only new people that come to Junix Nard's Cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. Hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Aw, oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... That wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. About my mother? I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. We have more important things to do. Still. My father is dead. Just because we find the holocron doesn't mean I have to give it to her. Father recorded all his personal thoughts in that holocron, even when I knew him. Having it would be like having him with you. I don't see why she deserves it, however. She drove him to his death. I loved him, and I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. I don't know. Part of me would keep it just so she didn't get it. I don't like that. Me. I would have thought my Jedi training would have put me past this kind of pettiness. I wish it. I really don't want to think about this. Please, let's just keep going. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Explanation. 
I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Statement. Indeed, it is possible that the Ithorian placed the restraining bolt on me to prevent my return to a previous owner. It is also possible that the removal of the bolt will not restore memory functions. Without my memory, I do not know if I know the answer. Do not interpret this as a reduction of my worth, however. My capabilities are quite expansive. Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. Extrapolation. You are no farmer or diplomat. You are armed and comfortable as such. We will mesh well. Statement. The fool Lithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you, should you purchase me. Please. Move that right here, but move that again, please. Do not move that. What will that? Do not move the one we would be tell the river. Do that again, Kelva. Holy feed on Kelva. Do we do that from the Kelva? Holy feed on Kelva, but he do not Kelva. And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it. Oh, 
Ivan Rebu di LT Rimmel. Bebas, ustaz yang kis, ustaz yang siapa? I can be pretty convincing when I have to be. But that mind trick is something else. Aku minta, tolong dus Ivan Rebu di LT Rimmel. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. Objection. Worn out? Listen, you talentless organic meatbag. One word from my master and I will pull you apart, limb from useless limb. I have always been hostile. Now that I need no longer rely on you and your primitive maintenance skills, I do not need to hide it. Query, can I kill him now, Master? I would like ever so much to crush his neck. Just a little. It is a long-time fantasy of mine. You hear that, meatbag? I will be back. Statement. It is doubtful he can be clearer. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. Translation. 98% probability that members of the miniature organics tribe are being held by sand people master. Doubtless, he wishes assistance. Translation. 2% probability that the miniature organic is simply looking for trouble and needs to be blasted. That may be wishful thinking on my part, Master.
No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. Well, let's see it. Come on. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. You're just another of his buddies from that hunting club. I know your kind. You all cover for each other, I bet. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Hold on there. How about talking to me before you go messing with those things? I need your help. Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. I don't remember you from Faz's club. You new to Anchorhead? Could you maybe help me get out of here? I'll bet she does. She's decided I've finally worn out my welcome and she's fixed my droids to do her dirty work. This should be interesting. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. Could you try to do some repairs? They don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know? I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help. Please? Just access each droid's repair interface. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear.
That was unpleasant. Thanks for your help. I'd have been a goner. Hey, and the old bat thought I was dead. <laughs> you never asked me for anything, but I consider my life worth something. Please, take this. I insist. Thanks again. I doubt any of those uptight hunters would have helped, and I doubt the wife is coming back. I'm heading back to the shop. I hope she left the manuals for these things behind. I'm grateful. You should speak with the captain. He's the only officer we've got left. These sand people are vicious. They attacked without any reason. Who are you? Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it! Here they come again. How did they do that? You cannot win. position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about their enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect our sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. That is not my job. on site. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider is as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me, I'd sneak in. But what actually? I'd just get back to Anchorhead. They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have it. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Sure. Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders.
Translation. <laughs> Translation. He is expressing disbelief, as am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. <laughs> Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? Translation. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Translation. Translation. He says that will never happen, Master. Ignorant outsiders continually desecrate their most reverential customs. This will always demand a response. An attitude I can respect. Protocol. From his perspective, a reduction is already a large step. It is doubtful you will get agreement on much more than that. Translation. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assume the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, Master? Answer. There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence, or something else I am unaware of. Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master, but anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master, but there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. Answer. 
Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous owner, Master. Would you like to hear it? Recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for SizeTech Corporation. I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. Explanation. Affirmative, Master. I had assumed that my previous owner was the corporation itself. This is not the case. The human purchased me privately. Explanation. That previous owner is part of memories that are still deleted, Master. It is customary for droids memories to be wiped when it is sold. Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. Affirmative, Master. Though I had not been programmed to do so, the human's termination was accidental. Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. He was pleased by the discovery. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. Information. This HK-47 unit is complete with protocol that, when invoked, will set me to independently carry out a termination. I will go to whatever lengths, travel whatever distances are required to complete the termination. This is the reason for my combat skills. Advisement. Unfortunately, the assassination protocol is currently non-functional. You will not be able to activate it. Answer. Several of my actuators were damaged by my former owner. They cannot be repaired, Master. Sad though that is. My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of SizeTech Corporation, my master's own employer. It did not take long for my master to realize his mistake. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. Statement. 
It was nothing really, Master. The majority of them were not even expecting it, and I moved very quickly. I do not know why my Master was so upset, really. He was an officer of Sizetech and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own Master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack me. Objection? Naturally not, Master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. That would not be allowed. My Master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. Query, do you know what the chances are of puncturing that soul actuator? I would have congratulated my master were he not sizzling and incoherent at the time. I shut down immediately whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, Size Tech was dismantled and I was auctioned off as former corporate property. Observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. Assessment. I do not believe so, Master. It would require complete dismantlement of my chassis. A most involved procedure. Statement. How could they? The vast majority of the officers had already been terminated. They likely assumed I was mere chattel. I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now. But as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. For now, please excuse me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I see that, but do you have the all-important chieftains, Gaffy? That was what you agreed to get for us. Then I'll take those off your hands, but the real prize is still out there. Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future. <laughs> No ba muli rati lai kuka. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Agi inko tune chuna muli ra. Tangi wama jikona. Tong kipa no ku nek abog. Chiwa ka aita kan kicha na chupornibo. Kun muli ra slimo poiwanga tangi tuama ji human ak in ikatune chiwi aita ka chong chicha agi inko tune chuna muli ra tangi tuama ji kona tong kipa no ku nek abog ki muli ra kun kin tong hi tuama ak inko tune ba ba hasan shan no ba muli ra ki lai kuka. Kakin cha na wabaka on, bagwa shong konti machit um, ichuta, yun patisa, kimbani cha lora kun. Baba Hassan shan, no ba muni rati lai kuka. Baba Hassan shan, 
no ba muli rati lai kuka ka kin cha na wa ba ka on ba gwa shon konti machi tu extrapolation this guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us translation <laughs> Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Translation. Translation. He says that what you seek is far from here in the Eastern Dune Sea. He will give you a map so you can find your way. Translation. His people found it, but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took up residence in the excavation. Translation. Translation. Your ignorance isn't his concern. He claims there is a hunter that wanders the area sometimes and that you should ask him. Translation. The hunter is a Twi'lek. He will be in the Eastern Dune Sea somewhere. Translation. We are free to leave. Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics.
translation. Translation, he says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Translation. Translation. He says that by his very presence, this griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Yep, that would be Griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we could do it, Master. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Uh, there's a big reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Uh, well, uh, there's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus's just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. Y you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years, after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? You got a tough-looking friend there. Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What, is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank you, and, um... You look like you're doing well. Financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say... You wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? That's it, huh? Figured you'd be able to spare a bit more than that. And, you know, I'll take whatever I can get. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Uh, I've already got a job waiting for me. Krita, the manager over at the Zerka Supply Shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Greta's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. I'm tired of waiting, Comed. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. Ka 
Rachi Kun Ida Hautonga, Ikin Kuno Bamule Rachi Kun, Slimo Podona, the Hotonga Kun Kabe, Runda di Hotonga Kun Hunkabi, One Kun Bez Ching Palamule, Tonking Bagunotek, Tok Ninja Tukunde, Mule Rabes. Chikun ida haudonga, ikin kuno bamule ra chikun. Svimo podonar de haudonga kun kabe. Jedo badoana ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha no nunya, tong patukas mag telea. Runda di haudonga kun hangkabi. Ona kun bez ching palamule, tong king bago no tek. Tog ninja tu kun de. Kachi kun ida haudonga, ikin kuno bamule rachi kun. Svimo podonar de haudonga kun kabe, runda di haudonga kun hankabi. Ona kun bez ching palamule, tonking bago no tek. Tuk ninja tu kun de mune rabes. Kachi kun ida haudonga, ikin kuno ba mune rachi kun. Svimo podonar de haudonga kun kabe. Runda di haudonga kun hankabi. Ona kun bez ching palamule, tonking ba nono tek. Tuk ninja tu kun de mune rabes. Kachi kun ida haudonga, ikin kuno ba mune rachi kun. Svimo podonar de haudonga kun kabe. Runda di haudonga kun hankabi. Ona kun bez ching palamule, tonking ba nono tek. Tuk ninja tu kun de mune rabes. Kachi kun ida haudonga, ikin kuno ba mune rachi kun. Svimo podonar de haudonga kun kabe. Runda di haudonga kun hankabi. Ona kun bez ching palamule, tonking ba nono tek. Tuk ninja tu kun de mune rabes. Jedo badoana ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha no nunya, tong patukas mag telea. Runda di hotonga kun hankabi. Ona kun bez ching palamule, tong king bago no tek. Tog ninja tu kun de mune rabes. Mucha shakpakat. Kie no no nama paole rachiku.
아주다. 뭔가 곧 비스톨 비키고 야나. 제도 봐도 하는 일이 보고. 동나 뭉샤 누누냐. 동파 두카시막 달래야. 두네 포도. 라는 우프라타 동고 실카샤. 좀나 비케. 我们呼呼那得得啊，小东尼巴托嘎，我那古斯贝钦巴拉木勒东给，这都巴多瓦那尼迪波波，东那蒙沙努努尼亚，东巴图卡什马德勒亚。Ching palamule, tungking ba nunotak, tuk ning cha tukunde mule rabes. Mucha shak pa khat, ki ye nono nama pao le rachiku. Slayer, don't you think? Observation. There is tremendous power emanating from the star map. I wonder if the crate dragon was drawn to this cave because of it. Yes, Master. I am certain you are correct. Now that we have what we came for, I do hope we will be leaving this world soon. I am growing so sick of sand in my circuits. give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase. But nobody gets away from Kalo Nord in the end. You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Sorry, I'm not in this for the credits. You're the only ones who've ever gotten away from me. I've got a rep to protect. Let's go, boys. Showtime. <laughs> Fire! 
How can I help? About my mother? I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. Do you think I should? I would like to keep something to remember father as much as she would. I'll think about it. I should try and remember my training. I should be able to let go of this, but I can't. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's keep going. <laughs> Have you even looked for the holocron yet? I have the holocron, Mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No. I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now. For both our benefit. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman? who simply wishes to see her husband one last time. I find it difficult to believe anything you say, Mother. You're right. It shames me, but I just... I find it difficult to let go of the past. I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the Order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you, your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments. That's why he went for the pearls. 
I begged him not to. Your treatments. I'm dying, Bastila. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming, and there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go, but you know how he wants me. Stop him. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Bastila. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked to you. Oh, no. You said you had important business. And you were never one to mince words. You there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? That's good. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch you. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. It's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after... after what I have to do. But I already told you, there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again, when we can talk. <sighs> oh, all right, I will. You do what you have to, Vastila. You go, make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell, Mother. How can I help? Yes. It brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others. Especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Must you be so frustrating? I admit, I had a moment of foolish pride, but I'm over it. Now I am focused on my true responsibilities. I'm simply trying to help you and complete this mission, and yet you battle me at every turn. I started it. You were the one who brought up the issue of the Council. You were the one who questioned our mission. You were the one who mocked me for thinking I was being tested. You... You are a very odd man. Do you know that? I simply don't know how to deal with you. All I want to do is help you, but you seem determined to drive me mad. Unfortunately, it isn't as easy as that, but your point is well taken. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much to be done. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. Hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you still mad. Fair enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. As you may know, TAC glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. I 
know this guy. He's with the Exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Torizian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. And now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. We can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Terizian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's gonna break my legs. Or worse. Yeah, I knew you'd come through for me. You won't regret this. You'll see, yeah? Just... just don't take too long, okay? This guy from the exchange could stop by any day. I kind of told him I already had the stuff, so if he shows up and I'm empty-handed, well, let's just say I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. I'm worried about Griff and his latest plan. I got a bad feeling about it. He doesn't know anything about brewing Teresian ale, and now he's got himself mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes Griff can be so stupid. Part of me just wants to let him get what's coming to him. Why not? He turned his back on me. He abandoned me on Terrace, so maybe I should just leave him high and dry now. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not gonna change him. Griff is gonna keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Yeah, what do you want? Hmm. I think I'll tell you a bit about the recent war we had with the Republic. That might be more familiar to you. The one where Jedi Revan beat my people. We started by conquering worlds outside the Republic. We did it quietly so the Republic wouldn't really know what was going on until it was too late. When we finally did hit the Republic worlds, they had no idea we were coming. We came in through three invasion corridors in adjacent sectors. Anyone who put up a fight, or wouldn't fight, was crushed. We raised whole worlds trying to provoke the Republic into fighting us. I don't particularly enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake, but the cowardly tactics the Republic defenders used left us little choice. Hiding in the homes of civilians, using families as shields, thinking we would not use appropriate force on their bases inside major cities. They underestimated our resolve, and what measures are acceptable in war. Those who cannot defend themselves should not be around those who can in battle. If annihilating a city is the kind of power it takes to overwhelm a Republic shield device, then that's what we did. Necessary force to destroy all opposition. It's wrong to hide with shields surrounding you, hoping the enemy will be so good as to throw themselves at your feet to be slaughtered. I have no time or patience for cowards. They deserve to be hunted down and exterminated like vermin. There was no honor in wiping them out like rats. But some of your forces did redeem the Republic in our eyes. Especially later. Later, when Revan had joined the war. 
But we'll get back to that. We've wasted too much time already. Is there something else you want to know? Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. You don't want to overload yourself on stims. Otherwise you might destroy your adrenal system. A real warrior knows his own limits and doesn't overestimate himself. There anything else you need? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Well, I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They, all of them, were so very invigorating. They were so very alive, so full of hope and energy and zeal. In retrospect, I can see it was a little bit tragic. Well, yes. These Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after they had invaded. Many of those Jedi perished in the fighting, but to us, they seemed invincible. Especially their leader, who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice, sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was like looking at gods. I know that. I was using poetic license. But those Jedi, they were enthralling. Everyone wanted just to touch them. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. The oppressed become the new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. We felt the brunt of both administrations. Of course it was! They took their frustrations and hate out on us, because the people they wanted had already fled, or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh no, but... But I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. Don't you see? The very fact I mentioned it means it has its influence. Anger can lead to the dark side, and I must be ever careful that I do not fall back into those ways. I... I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for, but you did not lash back at me. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would seem. But let us not speak more of this now. We should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we will talk again. I have been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. Yes, it was. I find it difficult to speak of those things. I do not want to live that way ever again. And here, it seems different. It is... it is warming. I feel almost welcome. Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. Yes, and that is my point. I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I'm used to. Just... thank you for accepting me. Yes, what's on your mind? I, uh... I'm not very good at this. I, I know I owe you an apology. Uh... more than one, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle Over Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these... these star maps. I know this mission is important, it's just, I, I feel a bit useless. I, I mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. 
You don't exactly pull any punches, do you? Not that I don't deserve it, I suppose. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... helpless. But I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner? How can I help? I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I'm glad you're with us. Did I? I am trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. Yes, well, there's no need for you to agree so wholeheartedly. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself, who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel... I feel much better. But enough soul-searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. How can I help? Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, considering our bond. Yes, there is something I would like to ask, if you'll permit it. In our time together, I've been watching you. You are a true servant of the light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order, despite the lore of the dark side. And with so little training, for me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy, or is that only an illusion? And that's enough for you. If only it were as easy for me. If only the right path was always clear. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. But what comes next? After using all that power, would you decide to impose your own view on the universe? The dark side corrupts your very thoughts. The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. Yes, what's on your mind? I already told you, he betrayed us all. Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. 
It's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but th they didn't come in time. Of course not, how could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them, and I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I, I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. She had courage, and... and she was stubborn. Could never talk her out of anything when she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. Now I had planned on... on leaving soon, to join her. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but... I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's, uh... Let's continue with what we were doing. Kukuno no ba mule ra jikun. Tom hit kun chunching. Ne boboje mata de punage. Dulpi kikuana. Chi gratu loda bograshi on neon compa chin tomo mochuba. Loda nida kun. Ida patisa batua kachatu tong. Bograsha kun tijaka um. Chubakaha chopa chawachuish. Yunku, Jodo jid bungarantang. Ka chikun ida hodonga, ikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo podo na rundi hodonga ku hunkabe. Jedo ba doana ni di bobo, dong na bungsha nununya, dong batukas magdalea. Chan shak bulara, umrao chiska duchi, on chuban jiska yanki, titoke gratung kun chicha kun king kacha chonobra, bogra wala no tumba cha, nechi chuna chuba ching, lorda ita kun. Runda di hotonga kun hankabi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek? Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Achuta, wonga kun bis dolpe kikuyana. Tung patugas bakdelea. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek? Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Mucho shaka panga. Tolpa da bongwale gandu nangu chuchut. Kava dum ku pilio bo tenya. Bonanai kuchu. Awaga boska chukola. Mucha shag panga. Kipuna. Bonana kichu. Takum juz tak miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong ki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun bi king. Tong hait wam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundoga. You malita kuto dun. Chilamula ne ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulira.
Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. The Wookiees of Kashyyyk make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. 